Hey, it's Edge here. Today we're taking a look at technical analysis for Ethereum. I'll cover web analysis with Elliot for theory and provide multiple scenarios price may take and explain why I prefer one count over another. Let's take a look at the different possibilities. Now, starting these counts and today we're ju just looking into this structure over here, starting from August 14th around the 2K area. Since then, we had a primary count uh, in which we came through here with a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, uh, ended the count down here. Now, I'm showing you this structure here as well as another possibility in which we have, would have this as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Again, this is not my preference because again, these wave fours are very small. Uh, however, if we are going to be taking out these current lows that we have here, then this uh, structure becomes more of a possibility in which we would create one more low here and then rock it off higher. Um, with this count in mind, we would have this as 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Um, the, this trend line can't go beyond this channel that I have here, pivoted from 1 to 3 to 2, and then uh, if it does, or if the price goes through this channel, then we would have to modify this trend line basically, meaning that uh, we can't have this as a contracting diagonal anymore. So at that point, again, we can invalidate this whole idea completely. Now this would be a 53535 five, five structure in which we would have this uh, structure ending around the uh, early, early September to me looks fine. Uh, but yeah, we'll look into this if we are just going to be breaking these lows here around $14, $20. The main count still uh, uh, is the same in which we have this as a 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, into 3, 4, and 5, uh, like so. And then we would be looking at uh, higher prices from here as in a form of correction. Minimum target would be $16.53, which would be a 1 to 1 target of this A, B, and C pivoted again from these current lows. Um, with, uh, that being, uh, with that kept in mind, I still have a, another suggestion for this current structure, in which again is a ABC zigzag, A, B and C. This is one possibility. However, I don't like this structure over here too much. So that's why I'm considering this to be a um, structure on its own here in the middle as a B wave. Uh, so this would be five ways into A wave, and then this would be three ways into A, three ways into B, and then five ways into C, taking uh, most likely the lows of the A wave. Um, we have some confluence around the one-to-one -one extension and the 1.236, uh, if we are looking at here, not that one, the volume profile, there we go. One-to-one -one has this volume spike and naked bundle control and the another volume spike here on these areas around the $1460 to $1440 and the one to one around $1490 area. So if the price gets there, I'm, I'm definitely looking into long possibilities if this is again turning into some kind of impulse wave structure, looking for that C wave. So overall expanded flat here or a running flat if it stops here. But um, in any case, the structure that we were playing out yesterday was from these highs. We are looking into a short possibility and I did take that short. Um, I took uh, profits and got stopped out somewhere around here, I think, um, after making this low. Um, we did get a pretty good retracement here uh, to the golden pocket basically and just went through it and then started to climb up higher. Um, I'm not quite sure if that is enough and generally we don't want to see us going through like that. Um, so I'm thinking that we could still could do something like that in the higher time frame picture. Also, this was very fast in time, so that's why I'm even thinking that this is this could be a larger wave structure in the middle. Um, so yeah. Um, this ABC to the downside definitely felt impulsive as it was coming down. Uh, we can see, however, it did get to the one or oh, 0.618 here. Uh, I was looking at this as a 1, 2, 1, 2 setup to the downside, however, uh, or even after this point here, it did, definitely felt like it, but it just came through and stopped here. Now, the only confirmation that this is not a fireway move is at these highs, since we broke um, the highs, or the basically the start of this possible fireway move. So, again, it is not a fireway move because it, it doesn't have anything to link it back to. On the previous structure so this has to be either a start uh, which it can't be because again we took out the start of it here so yeah 
that's not a possibility. So it has to be a three-way structure. We do have that divergence between the A and C, which could be expected. And also between this A, uh, A and C here, uh, if I'm labeling like here. Um, so yeah, there is a divergence between these, uh, which we could be expecting. Now, um, this C wave here is not really looking too good as of yet. Um, if we want to be more bearish, we would have to say that we have this as a one, two here, a one, two. This is the pretty good looking fiber structure. I can't comment on this week at all. It is too, too fast. Um, this definitely can, uh, can be viewed as five waves somehow. Um, we do have the lowest low here on RSI. So I'm not quite sure um, if this is still a wave four here or, or how we're going to be playing out this, but there is definitely possibilities that we could be looking into short setups here. Um, I'm still not on shorts. I'm still in that long that I had uh, taken uh, from from these lows. Uh, I did not get in here. I think I got in on the retracement of this whole structure somewhere around here. Don't have the uh, perfect entry on it, but I did ride this and did catch some profits here. Uh, on ETH and uh, one altcoin, AVAX, I think, and Bitcoin as well. Um, but yeah, if we are going to come back to the highs of A here, then we can confirm that, okay, this is not a five-way move here, uh, like so. Um, so yeah, that is basically the invalidation point I have it. I don't have a stop loss there, but I have a alert there. We'll see how it turns out because I, I might want to take out or take the profit of possible wave two retracement here or whatever this retracement is going to be. The minimum we want to see from, from this whole whole structure would be around the uh, 1540 area against 0.618 extension of this ABC move. Uh, but that would be a very weird looking structure. So I don't expect that really. But Again, if, we, if the price comes back to these lows, then I would be looking for more long setups. Am I looking for short setups here? Yes, if it comes back to the uh, previous lows and we can see some kind of setup here, uh, probably going to be updating that on Discord as well. But if you made it this far into the video, I would appreciate the likes. Link to my free Discord server in the description below. And for now, I thank you for watching and I hope you have an amazing rest of your day. See you in the next video, bye-bye.